Oh, really? Yeah. What is that? Yeah, that's what I'm hearing too. It's kind of like repetitive. That yeah, shuffling their feet. Yeah, shuffle. Yeah. Shuffle, yeah. yeah. Can you keep moving? It'll probably be too subtle for the uh, the camera audio to pick up, but we definitely all heard the same thing. I thought I heard something for almost like you said. Can you come back around? We'll leave. My paranormal people, what's going on? I'm glad you decided to join us because we are headed back to Huntsville, Texas. We recently got back from doing the Haunted History Tour with the uh, Texas History Tours. And uh, man, we had a blast. It was informative and fun. And uh, I strongly recommend you guys checking it out. I'll provide a link down below and I'm gonna provide a link here above so you can check it out if you still haven't watched it. Go check it out. It's, it was a lot of fun and I think you'll really enjoy it. It was really cool. But today, today we're actually gonna go and investigate a new location that we ran across thanks to Matt with Deep Woods Paranormal. I'll provide a link down below in the description so you can go check them out. But uh, this is gonna be fun. This is gonna be a good investigation. I'm beating up with my crew. Rodney and Mel, and we got our invites again. Rachel and Ryan, they're coming with us. And uh, I can't wait, it's gonna be a lot of fun, but before we do that, pretty much have a full day plan. We're gonna go explore a couple other places there in town. It, it, it's, it's gonna be good, it's gonna be fun, which is why I'm glad you're joining us. So let's get this day started so we can go explore and investigate the old Walker County Jail in Huntsville, Texas. Let's go check it out. Here we go. You left for the road Then you came back home Why'd you let me go When all I have you know Huntsville, Texas, located on I-45 about 70 miles north of Houston, is the county seat of Walker County and home to Sam Houston State University. Also known as home and final resting place of Texas Revolution hero, the first president and father of Texas, Sam Houston. And Huntsville is also known for being home to the oldest prison in Texas, but you guys already know about that, especially if you watched our previous episode. Right. Huntsville began in 1836 by a feller named of Ephraim Gray when he set up shop and opened up a trading post on the site. He then became the first postmaster in 1837 and named the town that grew around it after his hometown of Huntsville, Alabama. Now even though Huntsville is known as a prison town, since the prison is the largest employer in town, roughly about 6,800 employees, Huntsville is by far more than a prison town. It has become a great road trip destination for shopping, eating, and especially exploring because according to Wikipedia, in September 2009, the Huntsville Cultural District was designated by the Texas Commission as one of the first seven state cultural districts with its museums, art galleries, artist studios, historic homes, theaters, and murals located within the historic downtown Huntsville. Don't you hide me. You don't need to remind me. You gotta feel it. Don't you steal it. You don't need all the deals in. Then hold it. Don't you fold it. Tell them you got your soul in. If you've only ever driven through Huntsville and never explore Huntsville, it is truly a hidden gem to be discovered. Uh -oh. 
right guys before we start the day off we're actually gonna come and meet our host for the night or host hostess host host it we're gonna meet Elizabeth the owner of the buzz cup and she's moving her store inside the uh, building of the old Walker County Jail which is gonna be really cool so we're gonna meet up with her now she's gonna give us a little history background some of uh, information about her, her business and then we're gonna do a walkthrough of the jailhouse so we can check it out so we can be nice and prepared when we come back and investigate tonight so let's go meet Elizabeth here we go concentration that we do. Well guys, uh, I'm here with Elizabeth, uh, owner of the Buzz Cup, and this drink is amazing. It's it's warm outside. Actually, it's hot outside, and this just hit the spot. What am I drinking? The layered lemonade? You're drinking a raspberry blackberry layered lemonade with lychee popping pearls. Mm. Uh, seriously, video doesn't do it justice. <laughs> it is so good, and it hits the spot when it's uh, really hot outside. Oh, it's so good. But you have other options. So when it does cool off, you have coffee. We and have hot coffee and we, we brew on demand. So you're going to see the crema on top of your oh, hot cup of nice. coffee. Um, and then we do a small batch cold brew. Um, okay. And we're using, we're sourcing a new local source, Huntsville sourced bean provider. So uh -huh. I'm super excited about that, keeping it local. Okay. So we'll be continuing with our alcohol cupcakes and uh -huh. we'll, I'll be bringing in Brez. We're going to be, this is the Cat Cafe Copy Art Tea, no felines. Okay, no felines. No felines. <laughs> the whole idea is to have a, a place where you can come and hang out with your friends and be a little bit different. Yeah, well, and, and that's what I was going to ask you. So the Buzz Cup is your mobile. Yes. Your mobile unit. That's yes. where you're going to go out to wherever you go. Mm -hmm. Just Just like you see with the food trucks anywhere else. So that's what the Buzz Cup is. And then you're rebranding mm -hmm. or, or, or branching off. Yep. And that's where we're at here. Right. Correct. So, right. And, and are you going to be serving pretty much the same thing here? Or is there going to be Everything a little- Everything we serve on the bus, we will serve in here, but we're going to be adding some things. We'll be adding some paninis. We'll be probably making some tea cakes and scones. And I'm going to learn how to make clotted cream. Ooh, wow. And we'll be offering high tea um, to reserve for high tea. Uh -huh. We'll be offering afternoon tea. I'm having a local pottery uh -huh. um, studio make me custom logo coffee mugs and teapots. Oh, wow. It's going to be a unique spot from what you were telling me because, first of all, you're housing an old jailhouse. Yep. From my understanding, the upstairs is not going to be available to the general public no. for liability issues. Absolutely. But it's just the fact that we're inside an old jailhouse that's purportedly haunted. There, there might be some weird things going on upstairs, but you're going to have other events. We're going to have Dark Alice in Wonderland tea parties for adults. We're going to have princess tea parties available for little girl birthday parties. Cool. We're just going to have such a good time. I can't wait to make the Mad Hatter hat and, you know, all the accessories uh -huh. for the Dark Alice <laughs> parties. That's going to be a blast. So I've got Brian the Tamale Gringo coming into the house. Okay, yeah. And he's uh -huh. not going to be here all the time. Today. Just like a pop-up chef kind of thing yeah. like a pop oh that's exactly. really cool yeah and he's gonna be like i'm coming in monday and i'm bringing this and you better show up before it wow. runs out that's cool that sounds really cool actually it sounds really exciting and you know spooky seasons right around the corner mm -hmm. so if you want to have like you know i don't know a paranormal investigator to come in and share ghost stories for your 
can't uh, you mind. know, uh, let me see what comes to mind. <laughs> Actually, one of my intentions is to have, you know, monthly or every other month, a paranormal after hours event. Oh, that's, that's cool. And bring in guest speakers. Now, we can't go upstairs, but maybe uh -huh. we can have a live feed from upstairs and we can Oh, okay. oh that'd be, yes. Yeah. Oh, that is really cool. I have to tell you a story. Okay. Yesterday, I was telling the resident spirits uh -huh. that you were coming. I did. Uh -oh. okay. So I was here yesterday and I was just straightening up and getting ready and I was cleaning something and I had a spray bottle of cleaner and a rag and I was cleaning something. Uh -huh. So I told them yesterday, okay, Gabe and the crew is coming and would you guys please, in a kind way, let them know you're here. Yeah. You know, in a kind way. Yeah, in a kind way. <laughs> so I turned around because my phone rang and it was an eight second phone call. I turned back around and my spray bottle, my cleaning spray bottle was gone. What? It had been moved back to the place where I've been storing it for the last two weeks. Oh, wow. Yes. Wow. That's and too cool. So I felt a little hug about that. I'm like, okay, you jokers. <laughs> and this was last night. This was yesterday. Or yesterday. Yeah. I'm like, wow. okay, you jokers. Just oh. don't do that to my keys. Well, that's, you know, that's a great segue into uh, talking about the building and uh, some of the history. This is such a cool building. Okay, you have to understand it was a empty and not used for decades. Uh -huh. uh, they stopped using it. It was built in 1935. Harry Payne was the architect. He is known for having built many other buildings across the U.S. And I actually have a picture of him standing with the county commissioners. And there's a little pocket of white in his pocket. Uh -huh. and Dr. Godwin says that's probably the check for the building. Oh wow, <laughs> how cool. <laughs> now it's the Walker County Jail. Okay. It's not a prison. That's yes. important to know the difference. Yes. And they used it up through the 80s when it was actually a very big liability because it was really outdated as far as the mm -hmm. technologies okay. of, of how to close the doors sure. and safety and so forth. So they used it as, until they could get another building built. But then it sat empty for ages and mm -hmm. ages and ages. Um, there was a, an attorney in here for a short time, and when we got here, all the, build, all the walls were covered with mildew, the paint and the plaster was falling off the walls. Wow. These are cement walls. Uh -huh. Yeah, so we were just enjoying the prospect of having art on these beautiful nine-foot ceilings. Yeah. And uh, having tea parties in here, having the hometown arts group meeting here uh -huh. often, having um, you know, students come in and do coffee. We might yeah. have poetry readings. We might, you know, there's so many things sure. to do in this building, and it's just. I can already picture it in my head too. So, and you, you're close to opening, correct? Super so close. Really close. So by the time you guys watch it, uh, by the time I, it's edited and out, it, it probably will be open. Yes. So I'd strongly recommend getting the, the layered lemonade but no it's it's gonna be a fun destination it's gonna be a really cool place to come check out but uh, I think I'm ready to go upstairs and let us know or some of the places sure. that you've experienced stuff yeah. and uh, and let's let's go check it out right yeah let's all right here we go visit you know your attorney might be out here or somebody you're talking to might be out here and you would be on the other side okay to keep this yeah. one closed because they want it closed wow there's a big old shattered glass. the spirits have told people here you know the communicators uh -huh. have had that they don't like that to be open hmm. this one does not work that doesn't work and we're glad uh -huh. oh yeah because uh, <laughs> this is isn't this where it's more active over here yep well this is where we talk to them more because we know we can't get locked in uh. this is where they have sort of collected things from people so the very first time we came up here uh -huh. with matt Har harvey mm -hmm. from deep woods deep paranormal room. yes he had brought a spirit box one of those frequency boxes uh -huh. and one of the things i asked them after the introduction was like hey do you guys like bourbon stupid question uh -huh. And I'm like, okay, what brand? Do you like brand A or do you like wild turkey? And across the spirit box came very firmly, wild turkey. Wow. When Matt and I were cleaning up later that day and we were moving things around, 
he still had the speaker boxes on. And he, well, actually, no, the speaker boxes were off. We had the K2 lights on. Uh -huh. And he went to grab these. And all the K2 lights just lit up like Christmas trees. Really? Wow. And he put it back down. He said, you're right. It's not mine. It belongs to y'all. Uh -huh. I'm not touching it again. And the K2 lights just blinked. Wow. Would this cell here be considered the most active? Or what would you think is the more... The most active well we use this cell because it's the largest and i brought up some seats some seats so, okay but i don't know that it's the most active when my friend josh was here and he uh -huh. brought them up the cigarettes um but he came up here and he was like hey guys how's it going uh -huh. i know this really sucks yeah here's some cigarettes i'll catch you on the back side uh -huh. and as he was leaving we had noises back here oh wow yeah. okay many people have stopped here and granted this is very dramatic looking uh-huh a lot of people have stopped here and been like, oh, there's something in there moving around. Yeah. I don't know if that's true or not. Yeah. Now, at one time, we thought that, that they did hangings here at the jail. We've learned we're wrong, and I'm happy to be wrong. Uh -huh. Happy to be wrong. But on the other side is a set of stairs that are emergency exit stairs. But either way, nobody really feels comfortable right here. Hmm. I don't know. Yeah. And, okay, over here, this window, uh -huh. one of my sensitive friends was standing outside and she looked up and she said, there's someone standing up there in that window. And so we came up here to visit and she was like, he's stuck here. He, he got put in jail and he got killed, but he's innocent. He got uh -huh. killed in his cell and he's innocent and he's stuck here and he can't get out. Yeah. Later on, that same friend came back and helped spirit get out oh wow okay so we believe he's gone but yeah. he was probably in this cell oh wow okay good to know but this room we've been told that by us a medium that there's a person named david uh -huh. who was traumatized in this cell and that he presents himself as a, a young boy uh -huh. like a six-year-old boy oh wow and that he hides under under that under, under, oh wow um that same sensitive told me that in this cell there used to be a jaded lady that would try to get herself um arrested on uh -huh. the weekend so she could ply her trade oh really oh my god oh and one more thing i want to show you okay and then i'm going to say that i've probably exhausted my knowledge Everybody gets a really bad feeling when I open this, okay? Mm. And it's full of junk right now, but we think it might have been like a... Solitary? Yeah. Ooh, wow. Probably. Oh, yeah. Oh, there's a light bulb in there, too. Oh, pro you know what? It probably was. For like the guys that were really acting out, like get into solitary. Yeah. Jeez. But anybody that's been up here who's been sensitive, they, uh -huh. they get really antsy when I open this door. Wow. Oh, glorious air conditioning. Well, guys, y'all definitely need to come and check out the Buzz Cup and Cat Cafe. It's going to be a really cool place. It's going to be not just a cafe. It's going to be an experience. I'm going to provide all the information, the links down below in the, uh, in the description of the video. So check it out. Come swing by. And uh, I don't know. It's going to be a lot of fun. I might be coming back just, just for the experience. As soon as they open up for the grand opening, I might be coming back. Thank you so much, Elizabeth, for taking the time to meet me right now and give me the walkthrough. But we will be coming back later this evening to do our investigation, and I can't wait. It's gonna be fun. That's gonna be fun. But but before we do that, I wanna go explore a couple places here in Huntsville. We can check it out while we wait for a night fall to come so we can come back and investigate. So let's go, let's go check it out. Here we go. All right, people, so as of the time of this recording, August 6, 2022, they're still not allowing people to go inside and document and shoot video inside the actual prison. So this being a prison town, well, it's more than a prison town, but even being a prison town, we're gonna do something that's almost as good. We're gonna come check out the Texas Prison Museum. Yeah, let's go check it out.
Texas Prison Museum showcases numerous artifacts from the prison, including artifacts from the nation's most notorious criminals. There's an exhibit for the prison rodeo that was held at the Walls Unit from 1931 to 1981. Amongst all the intriguing artifacts and stories here, there's the infamous Texas electric chair, known as Old Sparky, which over 350 inmates met their fate when it was housed at the Walls Unit between 1924 and 1964. Very interesting and unique, the history of the uh, Texas prison system. That was pretty cool, pretty cool. I, I strongly recommend y'all coming, swinging by here and checking it out. But now I'm ready to take the edge off, get a little drink, and then go meet up with the crew here in a little bit so we can get our investigation on, so we can go hit up the old county jailhouse and get our investigation in. Let's do this, I can't wait, here we go. Well, that was good. That was real good. Oh, phrase. Holy crap, that was that food good. We have a guy really that's going to show up with tamales and street corn. Uh, man, no. it didn't leave a lot of room, but we're going to try. Yeah, we're going to try. Homemade stuff. Yeah. Oh, man. But anyway, it was great. Ready for this investigation. I am. What do you say? I'm, I'm good to go. Now. We're gonna, it's, it's hot upstairs, so we're going to burn off a little. Yep. All right. Let's go. Let's go do this investigation. Let's go. The uh, old uh, Walker County. Is it Walker County? Oh, no, no. I'm leaving you hanging on this one. <laughs> the old county jail. Okay, I forgot. This We're going to go investigate. <laughs> Here we go, guys. See you there. I hear there's a party going on in here. Is there a party? <laughs> Am I late for the party? Yes. <laughs> Again, the tamale guy, the tamale gringo. Yes, sir. So you're gonna be investigating with us tonight. Some, yes. So, a little bit, but you brought some of your tamales, smoked bean and cream cheese, and street corn. Awesome. So, yeah, guys, we're about to start this investigation here in a second. But tamale gringo showed up, so we have to do a quick detour because, I mean, tell us, tell us about your tamales and how it's different. All right. So I'm from Louisiana originally. I moved over here, so I mix Louisiana with Texas mix. Oh. It's something different. Uh, you have to try them. It's really different. You Cajun fied it. Is that a word? Cajun fied. Cajun fied. <laughs> what about your street corn? Because I love street corn, man. So, All right, so I what? Ears of corn. I smoke them on the pit with pecan, and I use fresh frozen corn as well. And then I blend it, and I use real butter, and then I got all my cheese and sausage to blend with it as well. Jeez, where, where can we find you? How can we order, man? I'll, Go to Facebook, look up the Tamale Gringo, and message me. They're available right now on weekends every Saturday at noon at the Buzz Cup in Huntsville, Texas, and before 
long I'll be cooking out of the kitchen here. Oh, that's on select days. That's gonna be cool. Pop up chef. Uh, actually, I talked to Elizabeth earlier, like she mentioned, he's gonna be popping up every now and then. Man, I haven't had it yet, but it sounds delicious. I love any variants on tamales and street corn. I'm all for it, and, and it looks good. It looks good. Awesome. Well, I'm glad you joined us. Thank you so Thank much, you, and looking forward to the investigation. Uh, introduce yourself, and, and what are we talking about? My name is Josh McDonald. Um, I guess we're talking about my experience. And you have a very unique perspective and experience. Yeah, uh -huh. she was telling me about some things that may or may not be happening upstairs. As soon as we started to go up the stairs, it, air felt real heavy, goosebumps. I'm, I'm not really a huge uh, paranormal type of guy. Um, went up there, it definitely felt something was there. Yeah. You know, whether it be you know static charge or whatever. Sure. I went up there knowing that this was a jail, there might be spirits. And in my head, I'm thinking to myself, you know, man, I've, I've been to jail, you know, I've been yeah. locked up. So I just talked, like, I wanted someone else to talk to me when I was in there, you know. Okay, so, yeah. Hey guys, what's going on? Uh, I had brought the, my cigarettes and I was like, hey, you guys want any cigarettes, you know? I threw some down on the table, leave uh -huh. them there for them, if, you know, if they were real, what have you. I wasn't like trying to ask them to come out and do anything. Yeah, you know, yeah, crazy yeah. Crazy like that. Um, just kind of sat there and we had a, a conversation while we were there and I was looking at some of the other things people had left and you know I asked permission because that's something you would do sure. before you were touch somebody else's stuff when you, okay. when you were locked up. Uh -huh. And when we're leaving, Elizabeth was going down the stairs before me. Uh -huh. I was about halfway down the stairs and we could hear just like a uh, a banging out of nowhere on the bars. Uh -huh. Wow. The bars, yeah. 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 Wow. Um, like somebody had like a cup or yeah. something that was... Uh -huh. like, banging on it and so I was like, hey guys, y'all have a good day, wow. you know, like that and it echoed back a little bit. Uh -huh. We just kind of went on our way. So it was kind of, huh. like, oh, it's kind of pretty crazy. interesting. And that is really cool. Yeah. Wow. Alright guys, what we're doing, what we're doing right now is we're just kind of doing a preliminary. We're gonna get, it's just gonna be a small group of us and just kind of do a quick intro. Uh -huh and see, see what we can pick up. Here we go. I actually brought some of my cigarettes for the guys. Like I told them last time I would, right? Yeah. So warm. Also brought them a lighter, because I don't think I brought them one last time. I made me smoke a cigarette real light. Yeah. Yeah. Man, here. you guys doing all right? I'm gonna sit over here and shuffle your deck of cards if you don't mind, huh? Make sure you're like cheating. Yeah, I don't like these. I really don't. I'm they sure, don't either. I'm sure they don't either. Yeah. 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 I don't know. Like, I just kind of, I know it's kind of weird. I don't really have hair, but it kind of felt like my quote unquote hair stand up on the back of my back. Wow. I don't like that. Yeah. But yeah. These, these, these characters in here, you know, I don't really feel like anybody would mean anybody super harm. Sure. Know? I feel like sure. I go home. Yeah. That's really the ultimate goal. When I was locked up, visitors came through, stuff mm -hmm. like that, man. Uh, it was always interesting, you know, it's something different than what we saw day to day. You know? Oh, yeah, yeah, Looking yeah. some other dude out the window. Yeah, yeah. And then, you know, oh, that's cool. Fun, so. Yeah. I mean, you might, to break the monotony. Yeah. To somebody, might, yeah. The way I see it is, I mean, if I was in your position, you know, I would definitely, you know, make some noise and hoop and holler and, and oh, that's cool. Know, that's good to have, know. Have a good time. Right? Yeah. Because it's something different than yeah. We have devices with us that will help you communicate with us. They're safe. Some of them, all you have to do is go buy them and they'll turn on. 
The device here will make a sound that we have here on the bench, and we have devices out in the hallway that will turn lights on. If you can walk past them, we'll know it's you. So if there's anybody here that wishes to communicate with us, please do so. If you have something you want to say, if you have a message, please say it loudly. Please say it. Tell us. We've heard that you've knocked before on the bars. Can you do that again for us? And loud enough so that we know it's you? Please walk up close to one of these devices and all you have to do is get close to it and it will let us know that you're here. If you don't mind us being here, light that up so let us know what we can say with a welcome. This one's going off. That's why we're for. Oh yeah, it could be, yep. Yeah. <laughs> Please come out. Come look at all the treats you have up here. Look at the cards you got. You got liquor, you got cigarettes, you got candy. Feel free to reach over and get whatever you want. If you don't like those handcuffs, just toss them across the room. Or at least move them. Move the handcuffs if you don't like them being on your, on your table. There's also a water bottle on the cell oh, behind yeah. us. You can knock that over too. Excuse my language for this, but um <clears throat> You guys, I know you're probably afraid to move that or touch some of that stuff that we're giving it to you, but we want you to know that we're not doing this because we want you to be our best. But um, we're doing it out of respect. Yeah. It's a gift. Um, Absolutely. We don't, we don't, yeah, we're not expecting anything from you. Can you please give us something definitive? A sound. Move something. Have one of the lights go off. Move something on the table. Let us know that you're here but we really do want to communicate with you. We want to share your story. I mean, I, like, I, I felt something like, along, and now I feel it more like if it's, 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 it's like I was sitting, or sitting shoulder to shoulder, you know, like somebody's uh -huh. next to me. I keep getting patches that get darker. Like for a while it was over there, they gel. And then it would get, you know, it's not there. And then yeah. it was like dark. They're watching. The, the guy's name is David Pratt, and it's in like this black honey stuff. Like, and it's in case, know, though, in the light. If you go in oh, jail, really? or if he, like, is a prisoner. It looks burned. It looks it's dark, like he's been sent or something, doesn't it? I'll check it out when it's we go like, downstairs. Show, show me I'll where it's at. Sure, we'll down. Down. Okay, yeah, just show me where it's at. Super huh. Are you mad that we're here? Is somebody walking? Is somebody walking down there? You're all here, aren't we? No. Did anybody else hear it? No, she was yeah. seeing, that's where she was seeing, like the shadows are going to It just sounded like boots or something. Boom, boom, boom. Yeah. That's somebody just walking. So what do you think? That's what we think. That's what we're assuming. That's a brutal solitary confinement, man. Can you imagine if it's this, if it's hot like it is now? Jeez. Locked up because it's kind of like, whoa. But that might have just been the ambiance of everything. Yeah. Yeah, it is crazy. I mean, that drives somebody crazy. I know. That's the point. You know? Are you going to act up? Get in the solitary. All right. We just came downstairs. It's hot upstairs. And these tamales and this street corn has been calling my name and I'm ready. No, I'm ready. We're taking a break. And the food, the cupcake, the drinks have been awesome. And uh, what a way to take a break.
tamales and street corn. Yeah, yeah. What an awesome experience. This is, this is so cool. So we're gonna cool off for a bit. We're taking a break and then we're gonna go back upstairs and uh, we're gonna hopefully, hopefully we'll pick up some solid communication. So we'll see what happens. It's still early in the night. So I'm gonna enjoy this. one more time guys only and uh, see if just a small group of us guys see if the energy is different maybe we can hear or feel something I don't know we'll see we're gonna give this one more shot but it has been pretty quiet tonight so here we go okay back in the heat We were doing some like live streaming. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. I don't think I heard. I don't think I heard this thing open. Oh, see, yeah, some light left the cigarette. I think that was Mel. Oh. All right, you got a small group, and it's just the guys. We just want to hang out with you guys. It's a lot quieter, so if there's something you need to say, we'll be able to hear you. The last... Time is almost done here. We really, we would really like to hear from you. Let us know you're here. I'm banging on the bars. I'm banging on the wall. I'm run around, walk around. You're free to move around, do whatever, whatever you want. I'm feeling like cold air coming. Like up underneath. Oh really? I don't know if it's that one, but it's that I mean, it's just kind of sudden. I wouldn't feel like walking just a minute ago. It just comes and goes, it doesn't it's not consistent. Whoa. That was, was that you oh yeah, that's what happened. I was gonna say God I felt it too. I was like, whoa. <laughs> wait, but mark that on the camera though before right before he did that. Uh -huh. I heard some movement. Oh, really? Yeah, I didn't want to say anything, um, but I did hear some movement. But I wonder if it was that one. Yeah. yeah. Can you do it again? I feel like a shuffle. Rubber 14. This elbow hit the table. It sounded like a shuffle. Can you keep moving? Yes. Yeah, like yes. Shuffle, like, yes. Like, what is that? I feel like I heard some shit from the shit. Yeah, that's what I'm hearing too. Yeah. Let me see. Hold on, I'll come with you. It's kind of uh, like repetitive that shit. Yeah, it's just yeah. Like yeah. shuffling their feet like, yeah. like, like shuffle, yeah. yeah. Can you keep moving? Too subtle for the uh, the camera audio to pick up, but we definitely all heard the same thing. Yeah, I saw y'all's expression. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I thought it was something for almost like you said. Now, but I didn't 
Can you come back around? We'll leave. It's outside. It's a workers. Is it outside? It's outside in here now. Yeah, I thought I heard it again. So it is outside? Stay right where I'm at. Uh -huh. Cicada. Cicada? Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Yeah, that's what we heard earlier. Right? You feel like it's... Oh, I, hold on. I hear it. Yeah. Yeah. It's a bird or a bug or... Uh, that's that. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, well. I was thinking it was. Yeah. Familiar. That's exactly what it is. Oh, yeah. It's like, oh, that's yeah. All right. Well, hey, look, we debunked it, man. You know, there's a little quick rush there for a minute. <laughs> well, if we're gonna wrap up. Hey, good morning, my paranormal people. Oh, what a adventure we had yesterday. Wasn't it? Oh, how fun, how fun was that? I am perched on the hill here at Sam Houston State University in front of the old building right behind me, overlooking the idyllic town of historic Huntsville downtown. What? What an awesome place. What a privilege it was to explore and investigate last night. Um, I want to keep this nice and short because we're going to have an epilogue. So I just want to give quick shout outs. Uh, shout out to the uh, staff at Tipsy Theo. Thank you for making our trip memorable. A lot of fun. Thank, thank you to the team. You guys did an awesome job as always. Thank you, um, Rachel and Ryan. Thank you for coming along with us. We hope you had fun and we're looking forward to the next one. And Liam, young man, awesome, awesome job. When you finally started investigating with us, you brought the rational part of the uh, paranormal road trip uh, motto, practical, pragmatic, and rational. So awesome job, man. Good for you. Uh, shout out and thanks to Josh for a uh, for bringing your perspective uh, and sharing it with us last night and for being fashionably late to work because of it. Brian, the Tamale G, man, genius what you did with the fusion of Mexican and Cajun food. It's just, uh, I have no words. It's just so good, so good. I will flash his, um, Facebook information here and also provide it down in the uh, description below uh, check him out man whenever he makes his pop-up appearances if you happen to be there lucky you it, his food is amazing uh, super super extra shout out to cat my god you blew it out of the water thank you so much for your efforts and your hard work for you, you are a creative genius in your own right your creative confectionaries were just delectable and it'll make the road trip out to Huntsville worth it just to taste your treats and looking forward to the uh, the new store opening up uh, going to the bus cup oh my god man thank you so much and then last but not least super extra special thanks 
to the mastermind behind all this for putting everything together elizabeth thank you so much you've done an amazing job uh thank you for sharing your information setting all this up and sharing your ideas for future collaborations and all the activities that you're going to be have i'm so excited i uh, can't wait till you open in fact by the time you guys watch it they probably will be open so it, it's going to make coming out to huntsville just to visit the bus cup and especially the cat cafe whenever it opens up it it should be on your bucket it, it should be on your to-do to list definitely swing by especially when you open it's it's going to be not just a a place where you can chill and and have and enjoy their drinks and the the treats that they offer but it's going to be an experience it's gonna be a lot of fun but anyway guys thank you for joining us and being our fellow investigator we hope you enjoyed it as much as we did join us on the epilogue where we're gonna break down and review all the evidence all the footage and uh, we want you to help us break it down so please like uh, subscribe and share because you'll be helping us help these amazing places that we go to and you'll be helping us do our little part in preserving history and keeping history alive thank you guys be safe be healthy and we want to see you on the next paranormal world trip peace